So you're struggling with acne. Hi everyone, it's Laura and I hope you're all doing well. So for those of y'all who are new to my channel, I'm a registered dietitian and I'm all about helping you feel your best. So I got a request to make a video on acne and natural ways to improve it and to achieve clear skin. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So tip number one is to get off the refined sugar, get off the junk and the processed crap. So not only is it not good for your skin, it's not good for any part of your body. There is no, absolutely no nutritional value in refined sugar. And just because you're vegan, just because you're plant-based, just because you're a vegetarian does not mean that you are healthy. You can very easily be a vegan junk foodie, especially nowadays. There's a lot of processed plant-based junk. Your skin will improve when you decrease the refined sugar because what that does is that inflames your body. It inflames every single part of your body, including your skin. It's just not good for you. Next is water. Making sure to drink adequate water and to stay hydrated. Not only is it good for your skin, but it's good for digestion. It's good for your muscles, it's good for your joints, it's good for literally every single organ of your body. So I strongly encourage you to start carrying around a water bottle with you. Next is to not touch your face. Because I get zits on occasion, I'll get random zits on my chin or like random place. Typically, I would say like 95% of the time it's on my chin. And it's because I touch my face. It's because when I'm sitting there, I sit there like this or like this. Do your best to not touch your face with dirty hands. In your fingernails are the most disgusting part of your body. It has the most germs. And so it's just not a good habit to begin with. Next is stress. And I know that this is a tricky one because stress is extremely subjective. So you may not think you're stressed out, but compared to other people, you are. I encourage you that during times that you're getting stressed to have coping mechanisms and understanding exactly what it is that causes you anxiety. And when you do get to be super anxious or stressed out, having coping mechanisms in place to help you cope with that and deal with it. Next, so this is something that's a personal thing that I found because when I was a teenager, and this is gonna sound kinda gross, but I didn't have a whole lot of acne on my face, but I did have zits like on my back. And what really helped me with that was laying out in the sun. And the recommendation for sun exposure for vitamin D and for overall health is about 15 to 30 minutes a day. So if you're someone who you're able to do that, even if it's just on the weekends or maybe at night or like it's brighter outside now, but when you get home from school or from work, trying to get a little bit of sun exposure, not like a crazy amount, because there's also side effects and bad repercussions that can happen from getting too much sun, but getting some sun on your skin, because I've also found it really helps with my eczema. If I have a flare up or I'm getting a little spot, if I go and sit in the sun, it really helps with that. Next is to remove your makeup at night and to keep your skin moisturized. And this is something you, it's literally a tip in every single skin video. However, for some reason, sometimes we still don't do it. <laughs> Everyone knows it's what you're supposed to do. Um, but for whatever reason, some people, we just get lazy sometimes and don't do it. But what I found really works for me is either coconut oil or shea butter. Because if I put it on a cotton ball or put it on a rag, and put it on my face, then not only does it remove my makeup, but it also moisturizes my skin. So it's like skincare for lazy people. <laughs> so I hope this video helped y'all out. If you're someone who you've in the past struggled with acne and now your skin is relatively clear, I'd love to hear from you. Please comment down below things that have helped you in your journey towards clear skin because I know it's it's not fun, you know, it's not something that I wish on anyone. And so any way that we can help anyone who is struggling with acne, I'd love to hear from y'all. And I hope y'all are doing well. If you have any questions, as always, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye.